Hey everybody, another video on the rocket mass heater. We've got the base, the top, and the J-tube started. I just went to my local Mason supply store. I bought the fire brick. I bought the clay liner. This is an 8x8. <clears throat> this runs about 12 bucks. These are full fire brick. Uh, four and a half by nine by two and a quarter or two and a half. Uh, you can buy them in half width, but they are more expensive. So what I've got, um, I just kind of mocked this up here to kind of see how everything would go together. I had to go get all the guts of the J tube first. So then when I go to the steel supply uh, place, I'll know exactly what to look for when I'm looking for some uh, drops. Um, meaning just cut ends of pieces and uh, things like that. Now I opted to build this with a clay liner and fire brick right here uh, in lieu of doing it with steel uh, because this is where the majority of the heat's going to be at. I know what the steel's going to do. If I put, if I made this riser out of steel and this out of steel, it would warp and and flake and 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 burn it up. Uh, with probably less than a season. So I wanted to make sure that this was going to work and last quite a long time. Um, so what I've got here is I've, I've, I've got 16 bricks all together. Uh, so far in this, the way I've got this configured, I've only used uh, 14 of them. But uh, the way I figure it is, is uh, this is going to basically be the 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 burn chamber going that direction. The cross-sectional dimension of that right there is about 30 square inches. The cross-sectional dimension of this 8x8, eight eight, it's actually 7x7 seven seven across the center, is 49. So uh, we have 30 inches going in, or it's actually 29 and change, and then 49 and change coming up. <clears throat> And that's going to work fine because that'll get us a high velocity rocket effect here. That will allow the the flames to expand in the riser. And the riser being made of clay versus fire brick will absorb heat and should allow for a, gr a good draft. Now, a couple of dimensions here is kitty corner. It's about ten and a half. So I'm going to get a 12 inch piece of round pipe and use to surround this and then I'll fill it with, uh, probably just fill it with some sand, gravel, whatever I can find laying around. Maybe even some dirt right out of my garden. And that will act as a, as a nice uh, um, stack to hold the heat. Maybe I put vermiculite in there. I don't know. I'll do some more research to figure out what's going to be my best option there. Um, so anyway, um, so so the J-tube, the bottom section of the J-tube and, and chimney riser is all made out of mason. And what I'm going to do here is this front section uh, will be made out of metal, steel, tubing. Um, probably probably a 5x5. Five five. I don't know. I'll see what they have at the uh, scrap store. Um, and, and again, like I said, when, when I get that steel, it'll be all steel on the exterior, which will allow me to adapt it and change it and, and uh, make it multi-fuel. But where the majority of the heat is located is all going to be uh, fire brick, so it should hold up. All right, well, that's as far as I got so far. So now I have to uh, finalize my, my uh, design here and make some measurements. Uh, to the height, we got about 33 inches uh, to the top of this from the floor, and uh, right here I'm measuring this. I got about uh, uh, 24 inches from there to there, and then if you look, I've got a nice section there. So this should be just about the right size. The bottom of this should be right along the bottom of this, and the top of this hopefully will be around the uh, circumference. There will be uh, about two to three inches below the top. So that's what I'm working on. So I got to do a lot of measuring before I uh, measure twice, cut once. 
All right, thanks for watching, and uh, when I get some final measurements and a final plan here, I'll come back at it as I'm putting it together. Oh, the other thing, too, is uh, I, what I plan on doing is, uh, see this uh, angle iron here? Let me get I've got a lot of that angle iron, and uh, uh, I got some more pieces over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, an angle iron frame to insert all these brick in. So inside of that will be a, a, a angle iron frame, and then I will place the brick in one by one, and use some some furnace cement to fill in all in between everything. Um, and uh, anyway, you'll see it. Um, that's the plan at the moment. All right, again, thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you on the next video.